Hi everyone! I'm just going to give you an updated version of my craft room. Um, it's not exactly done yet, but it's different than my demolition um, craft room video. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick overview and then I may go into detail of a few things, um, but it won't be that long. So you walk in and uh, there's that desk that came from the my son's friend. Um, anyways, that ended up being staying there. And then the long desk there used to be a long desk curved around and then over to here. And it took up a little too much room. So um, here is the room. And as you walk in, there's the um, there's some boxes that I'm going to be doing stuff with. There is a three drawer little basket thing. Um, currently they have envelopes, cards to be uh, finished and bags, paper bags of any kind. There's the spice rack that I altered and I'm going to be putting in probably everything to do with my beadwork in that as long as it'll it'll fit everything. Uh, there's a little file cabinet, two drawer file cabinet. There's all kinds of little things in there. I'm not going to go into detail about that. I've got this basket, which I really like this basket. Um, it's really pretty, and I've had it for a very, very long time. And right now I just have a lot of um, stickers and those kinds of things in it. I'm not exactly sure how I want to store my stickers. I have them in two different spots but I have it in this basket. This is anything for the Big Shot um, or my Sizzix dies and my uh, embossing folders and then of course the Big Shot and then here's that desk and currently this is empty right now not sure what I want to be putting in it. Here's some more of the damask contact paper that I'll be using for other parts of the room if I need it or I might just cover that box maybe I don't know here's my photo box here is the uh, project life center basically organizer that I made I don't like it um, so I didn't finish it because there's not enough desk room here left to have a open project life book so I'm going to be making a new one that's going to be thinner and longer thinner and longer to to fit on the back of the desk here so that I can have a Project Life book open. And um, this you've seen before. Nothing's really changed. My wood stamps, a couple of little jars. This has got uh, flat flowers in it and that's got buttons in it. That's got ribbon right now and then everything up there is not going to stay because I don't know where to put it right now so it's sitting up there. Uh, I've got ribbon and lace up there, which is not going to stay. I'm not sure where it's going to go. Currently, my photo books are right here. This is a current project that I'm working on. Uh, there's my candy station. Kind of a little bit of a mess. I just hurriedly put everything back into that area. And then there's my organizer for my um, stamp pads and a little bit of ink and shimmer mist, and etc. Uh, sorry for the glare. There's my computer. My husband made a small little computer stand. Um, I'm working on a small little project right now. There's my new cutter. It's a Fiskars cutter. I'm really excited about being able to use that. I currently have my glue guns here. They're just in these glass uh, little dishes because I don't know where else to put them. I think my husband's going to work on something. Otherwise, I kind of like this this is okay it's not a bother and then there's an antique lamp right there I don't know if you can see the from the glare you can <laughs> no matter what I do um, but it's an antique lamp and I really like it and it puts out a lot of light and then of course you know what that is and then under my desk um, I have a little box that has my cutter and extra little um, crap mats in it. There's my scoreboard, trash can. There's three um, small drawers there and they house right now. That's my cling stamp. This is my all the punches that I have. And then the bottom one 
is ephemera of some kind. Sorry, it's a little dark. This is a bag of material that I got from my daughter-in-law. Um, it's actually not material. It's a bag of old clothes that can't fit um, anybody that she knew or herself. And they don't fit anybody else in my family either. So they're kind of nice little things that I can um, pull apart and make flowers with. And I really like that idea. I've done that before. And then this is where my printer stays. This is for, it's currently got um, four or five by seven, four by six, I should say, blank, oops, sorry, in frame. Um, it's got photo paper in here. And then it's got my um, address book and stationery, mainly. It's all stationery that's done, little envelopes cards and, and the like of things that I can use for when I send things to um, other crafters or whoever that I want to send a little card to. They're kind of already all in here. And like I said, my printer and currently in here is arty cakes and some brads and some wood pieces. And I'm going to organize this, but instead of trying to take it all out, I'm going to take it out um, as I figure out where I want to put it. And then this is everything to do with beading and um, stick pins. And I'm going to reorganize that because what I want to use this for is mostly for printing things like paper and Xerox paper, etc. And then currently this is most of my ribbon and lace. And I am trying to figure out exactly how I want to store that. Um, I think that I have a way that I'm going to go ahead and store the long ribbons and I'll show you that in a little bit. And then these are three, oops, sorry, my little scan disc on my com camera got full. Um, so here we are at these three boxes that I had gotten from uh, TJ Maxx. Um, I really like the bottom one, it's, it's really neat and it goes with my black and white room. This is the only size, I mean the only color they had in the size that was like this and I wanted that size so I'm probably going to cover it in some way and then also the top one I'm going to go ahead and cover and all these have my flowers. This is um, handmade. Um, these are um, packaged, all the packaged ones or the ones with long stems on them and then this is for all the ones that are in plastic packaging and that's all the flowers that I have um, I would love to get a whole much more of course but that's all I've got and then this brown cabinet here it's actually going to be holding my current projects that I'm doing they're already in bins I have a wedding uh, album that I'm trying to con complete and so these two things are everything for the wedding album those two are empty right now and so that's that and then my expedite uh, this is a little plastic three drawer bin. It's got white paper, craft paper, and black paper. And these are all eight and a half by 11. This is going to be for my 12 by 12. Um, and it's just going to be scraps. And my husband made the shelving in here. I'm going to paint it white and then I just, I'm going to make my own little boxes that slide in and out there. And then that's empty right now. This has got things that are alterable, um, chipboard albums, etc. And then this, I got an idea from somebody on uh, YouTube that they put their cling stamps in here. So I may go ahead and be doing that with those. And then this basket here, it is for my um, incoming, anything that's coming into the room that I didn't have the time to put it away. It's all sitting in there and obviously it's very full now so I got to put it all away. Um, this is a little bag I use for when I go to uh, ship out swap items. I just grab that because inside there is the tape gun in case I need it for taping up some packages and stuff. And here is, oops sorry I didn't want to go too fast. Here's my um, four pieces of the recollection uh, um, cubes. Um, currently I have glassine bags in there, um, foam, and uh, double-sided foam, sticky foam in there, nothing, <laughs> and nothing, 
and nothing in on any of these. Then I also have nothing in any of these yet. Um, this uh, has um, extra folders, file folders that I'm going to go ahead and leave in there. And then this is craft file folders. And then this is um, tools. These are the punch boards and an extra glue gun. And so that's that. Then, oops, sorry, I went too fast. Then this is a basket. This has more of the tall stickers. And I like the pink basket. I've had this for quite a long time also, just as long as that other basket that I showed you. And so right now it just has some stickers in it. And then it also has the, oops, sorry, has stickers in it. And it also has these, um, these are hunks of, um, I guess you want to say tool, that were in strips. And I took, all, took them all off of this little skirt-like thing that it was on. And I've just put it around these sticks that you get, stirrer sticks, paint stirrer sticks. And I've just put that around theirs. And so those are um, all sitting in there, as you can see. And then this here is a, I don't know, it's a little tin um, container and it has things from other people that I got in swaps that are usable for other um, projects that I may have. And I wanted to keep them in there. I don't know a better way of keeping things that people send in for their you know for the swaps but that you can use later in mini albums or whatever I don't know where to keep them um, and make sure that I know who it was that sent them in so right now this is the way I have them and I have their name taped to um, the items that they sent in so that's what I've got so far for that and going back and this here is a chair that my husband um, he looked on Craigslist and it was for free. Um, they, This older person was getting rid of this chair and it has a little foot that comes up and I really like the idea that in case I wake up in the middle of the night, I could come into my craft room and watch a movie or whatever and not disturb my husband. So um, for free, it was great. I need a little, needed a little bit of cleaning but otherwise it was great. And then this jewelry box here my daughter-in-law gave me and it's actually it's just a simple wood jewelry box but inside it was full of jewelry that a bunch of her friends had given her and they were things that she probably would never use or whatever so I've got to go through all of that jewelry and put it away and then this here it goes on a desk um, it's pretty heavy um, something you know that you organize something on a, like an office desk and I had it in my office when I did medical billing, but I don't want to throw it away because it's an expensive item. I just don't know where to put it if I'm going to even keep it in here. Um, but it's it would be kind of neat to have some something for you know because it's got folders, area for folders I should say, stand up folders, and then I can make little drawers for the three little areas over there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in here or not. Um, and there is the <coughs> right there is the middle of the desk that I had taken that my husband took out of the the middle part of that desk to make it so that I only had one straight desk. That's huge and heavy, um, and I'm I'm really glad that we got that out. But now we got to figure out if he wants to use it in any way, um, maybe cutting it up or using it because it's really really thick. Um, Oh, and back there you see my room and, and my doggy's steps. He can't get up on the bed unless he has steps. So, um, there's my room. And I probably went on and on a little too long. Um, but if you have any suggestions whatsoever for my empty drawers, um, I would love to have the suggestions. Um, so I've got to be able to fill all of that up. Actually, I don't need to fill it all up. I just kind of want to make it a little more organized in here. So this is what it looks like as of today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot. I was going to show you the thing that I kind of wanted to do ribbon. 
had a, an idea to do ribbons. I got this at Daiso. It's a great big huge hanger. It's probably 24 inches wi um, wide. But I thought that maybe I'd put it up. Oops. I thought that maybe what I'd do is put it up on the wall like this. And I've got this idea of using, um, putting the clips on this. <coughs> like a lot of people, excuse me. Like a lot of people do, they put the clips on. Um, but I thought that would be kind of cute to have that on the wall for that. Uh, so again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.